AI terms you're too afraid to ask about. What the heck is an AI agent and why do you desperately need one right now? So first of all, if you're not familiar, what is an AI agent? Think about it as a digital analyst. It can reason, decide, and act. This means it can take steps on its own without you having to continuously prompt it. It understands context and goals instead of an individual task. AI agents can read data, they can analyze patterns, and they can generate their own outputs. And most importantly, an AI agent can run and manage other AI tools. And instead of you prompting ChatGPT to get an answer back to then prompt it again, it can handle all of those steps for you. So let me show you an example of an AI agent. This is what we're gonna build step by step, but I want you to see the entire vision and then we're gonna break this down piece by piece. This AI agent is designed to answer user questions and to answer user questions specifically for operations teams differently than finance team. It's gonna to go to real live data. It's gonna to go to operational data if it's given an operational question, and it's gonna to go to the financial and general ledger data if it's given a finance question. Even better, it's gonna analyze this data with Python and give us really solid outputs. So if you don't have time to work on strategic work because you're answering so many questions from your business partners, think about this as the first stop, the first analyst they can go to for their initial questions while you work on the bigger strategic questions that really need a human's time and attention. So keep this in mind as we move forward. Again, we're going to start working through this step by step, but this is the vision of what we're hoping to build. An AI agent that can analyze its own data, that can send it to other AI tools to analyze the data, and to come back with natural language responses that should answer a lot of the questions.